Welcome to option three for the intermediates. This time we're going to start adding a little bit of isometric pausing into the pull-up. So the idea with this one is we are going to put pauses at different points along the path of the pull-up. What this is going to do is a multiple of things. First one being it's going to expend energy at those points. And the second being we can work on the weaker sections more. Okay. So to start with, what you're going to do is hang on the bar at the very bottom again. And from here, what I'm going to do is pull up and hold for one, two, three, come up, one, two, three, and come up, one, two, three, and come down. So as you can see, this exercise now becomes very, very scalable as well we've got actually four variables that we can play with to make this easier or harder. Those four would be the number of repetitions that you are going to do, the number of sets you are going to do of those repetitions. So whether you're doing two pull-ups five times, or you're doing five, five reps ten times, it can make, make this exercise easier or harder just by changing those two. But on top of that, we now have the different number of points along the path that we're going to take, whether that is going to be three or two or one, or up the other end, we could take five, eight, or 10 different sections before we get to the top. And the fourth one would be how long we're going to spend at those positions. So on the bottom end, you could just do one repetition, maybe three times, and you've got the bottom part and the top part as your two points and you're just going to spend two seconds. On the other end, you can make this very, very difficult by purely making five repetitions. You've got 10 sets of that. You're doing eight sections along the path and you're taking five seconds on each part. This would be at the very higher end type of training. The same as intermediate number two. Intermediate number three is also really good for looking at both the mechanics and the weaker parts of our pull. So we can see and analyze which bits we find the hardest. We can film ourselves and actually record what is going on with our pull so we can actually see ourselves struggling at different points and seeing which bits are harder. And you're going to have a look at the mechanics and the control of pulling up as well. So this exercise is really good for the mechanics and control. So this exercise is really good at looking at the mechanics and what parts are weaker. I would really recommend filming yourself when you are doing this exercise. You can see on the video what parts are actually where you're struggling and you're going to be able to see and have visual feedback of the bits that you need to work harder on. On the flip side, again, we have some negatives as well, as always. Those negatives are gonna start with, we are not working strength-based training so much with this. Um, strength-based training, if you're looking at pure strength-based, you want to be looking at one rep maxes and that type of training, and this is not that. This is more, as I said before, muscular endurance. As with intermediate number two, this is also not really working power. We haven't got a lot of speed involved, and it's going to be working a lot more control rather than power and strength. Something else that is fairly hard with this is that the body position, keeping correct body position as you're becoming fatigued is very, very hard. When you start getting to the end of the exercise, this gets tricky because the weaker muscles and the ones that you're not using so much, they are gonna get forgotten about and all of your energy is gonna focus on the main muscle groups that you need to do the pull. So wrapping up, we've started adding more variables into making the pull up harder. And this is gonna be a great way to make this totally scalable as well. Looking at intermediate number two and intermediate number three, they give great ways of changing the difficulty by just different variables of time, increments of isometric holds and the time on those holds.